Well, the federal budget is in better shape than it was just four months ago. Gross debt has reduced by $17 billion, so reduced interest payments will save the economy about $80 billion over the next 10 years. But is this all misleading? Joining us live is the Assistant Immigration Minister, Matt Thistlethwaite. Matt, uh, good to see you as always. So imagine how much better the budget would be if it wasn't for the $315 billion of spending. Well, Pete, uh, we're doing what uh, good governments do in tight economic circumstances, and that, that is we're saving more than we're spending. Um, so we're actually doing what a lot of Australian households are doing. We're cutting back um, and making sure that we're reducing as much debt as possible. And we're running a budget surplus. And that's mm. the right thing to do in economic circumstances mm. such as this. But we're providing support for households and small businesses to get them through these tough times. Cutting back? Isn't it record spending? No, we're cutting back in a number of areas. We're certainly cutting back on uh, all the contracts that were being offered to the private sector to run um government services uh you've seen the changes that we made to the national disability insurance scheme which will reduce the cost of that over time uh, but the relief that we're providing for taxpayers has been very much targeted and aimed at ensuring that we're not adding to inflation and it's been on the advice of treasury that we've put those policies in place and inflation has moderated there's still a long way to go and we know that uh, but All it's right. heading in the right direction. So how much of these numbers uh, that are out today from Treasury, how much of this is not so much down to your government efforts, but that of higher immigration, people paying more taxes? Uh, I, I think that uh, we, we've certainly seen increases in incomes, um, and that's, yeah. there's no doubt about that. Uh, so is that because... misleading? Well, no, not really. I think that uh, it's on both sides of the budget. You've seen increase in revenue, um, and we haven't hidden that fact. There's been increases in revenue associated with resources. Um, more people are in work, and that's a good thing. Uh, we've got a record level of employment uh, mm. in Australia, um, over a million jobs. That's never been achieved before by any government. We've created a million jobs, and that means that more Australians are in employment and paying taxes. Now, that's a good thing. Uh, that's what we want to be encouraging in our economy. So increases in revenue, but at the same time, uh, reductions in expenditure in, in certain areas means that we're running a budget surplus. Isn't that what the Australian people want? They yeah, want us to but run there's, a budget surplus. Sure, yeah, but there's um, too to many make people. Sure that we're, we're reducing debt. And, and this is in your space, major concerns about too many people coming into the country. And that's why we're reducing net overseas migration. Uh, that's why you've seen... The policies such as the caps on international students. Uh, that's why we're introducing changes to make sure that uh, we're processing visa applications uh, and rejecting those that don't have merit in a quicker time frame so that people can't try and manipulate the system and just stay in okay. Australia for as long as they can. We're making all these changes in the immigration portfolio that are reducing pressure on the population.